Hello everyone, this is Ankit from Mentor School. And today in this video, we'll be covering BTP Transport Management Service Overview. Before getting started, let me tell you that uh, we already have a lot of other videos available for other BTP services uh, in our channel. Please go ahead and have a look on them and it'll really give you a very good idea about them. Like BTP Audit Log Management Service, BTP Alert Notification Service, this is what we are covering today and then BTP continuous integration, continuous delivery service, BTP application logging service, BTP DevOps, BTP application auto scaler service, BTP identity provisioning service, BTP identity authentication service, BTP cloud identity services, BTP connectivity service, BTP destination service, and BTP build work shown. And there are a lot of other are going to come up in future. Please go ahead and subscribe our channel so that you get notification whenever they are getting uploaded and you can come and refer those. OK, so let's get started without doing any delay. So uh, today's topic is uh, transport management on BTP. So guys, this is a really, really important tool we have as a part of a BTP DevOps capability. What this transport management does, if I say in just one word, it will transport the development content from one environment to other environment or from one system to other system, you can say. OK, so what could be the different use cases where we may need to transport the development content? When I say development content means the codes what developers have written, right? Very simple example, I would say, let's say we are doing the development in Cloud Foundry environment or Kaima environment or ABAP environment, right? We can have three different sub accounts. One is for dev, one is for test, one is for prod, right? And uh, you may need that automatically as soon as you are putting the code in dev sub account or you're doing some changes in the code. So if it is reflecting at dev sub account, it should automatically be transported to test sub account or prod sub account. This case could be in just one single environment. You have subscribed for Cloud Foundry environment and in same environment, you have three different sub account where you want to transport the content code content, right? But there also could be the case you want to migrate from one environment to another environment. Let's say you want to migrate from Neo to Cloud Foundry or Kaima to Cloud Foundry or Cloud Foundry to Kaima, right? Right. In those cases also, because anyway, you'll be transporting the development content. So you always can go ahead and use BTP transport management. OK, guys, so I hope it gives you a bit idea what it is, but definitely we can go ahead and discuss it a bit better. Also, I'll walk you through on BTP cockpit a bit so that you understand that. Before going ahead further, I have written some pointers here and let's understand these pointers. So first one is better control of changes, right? So I'm telling right as soon as there are some changes came in uh, some code changes happens right in dev sub account maybe a ci cd service is pushing the updated code as soon as developers you know release the code right uh, the dev sub account will get updated and automatically then test will have up, get updated and prod will also will get updated right other case could be you just you're importing the new code in dev sub account as soon as you'll directly import it right definitely if your transport management service is configured Right, it will uh, auto copy it or transport it to other these two sub accounts, right? So that's why it says better control of changes, fully cloud based. Guys, this BTP transport management is a service available on BTP. You really don't need to install this somewhere, right? It's already cloud based, full fledged solution. You just go ahead on BTP and subscribe it and start using it, right? Yeah, you have to do in different scenarios, there are different cases could be. You have to integrate this transport manager with, with maybe CI CD service, or you just wanted to use transport manager service alone, or maybe you know you want to integrate with your uh, uh, 
uh, SAP solution manage what you have in on-premise. So anything those are possible, right? So, but it is a fully cloud-based solution. Okay. Then integrated experience, right? When I say integrated experience, right? You know, you can create hundreds of nodes here, right? And each node will represent an environment, right? Where you have a, some set of code, right? And uh, wherever you want to transfer the code from one place to other place, you can go ahead and use this because it really provides a very integrated experience. Okay, then transport various type of content. So guys, you can transport just very plain coding uh, file, right? You can transport native HANA development file. You can transport the multi-target application code files, right? Codes. So it supports various type of content transport. Okay, transport to different environment. I already mentioned you, right? Maybe your complete application is getting developed in Cloud Foundry, right? And definitely your test, prod, and dev all sub account can be in a Cloud Foundry. And easily you can transport between those. But there also could be the case right now you're working on Cloud Foundry, but tomorrow you want to migrate to Kaima, right? So it can help you to transport the codes from or migrate the code from one environment to another requirement, right? Any combination formatation you can create in your transport management service will definitely be able to transfer the content from different environments. Okay, complement CI CD approach. So when I say this, guys, I have a CI CD video already available in my channel. Okay, but yes, if you want to just correlate a bit. Okay, so let me first open the DevOps one because there is a video for DevOps as well. Okay, and uh, I will first maybe just try linking here. So what happens in your complete automated software development lifecycle, your DevOps is something which is going to help you, right? To achieve automated software development lifecycle, right? So this is your CI CD service, okay? And it is getting the code from version control. It is building, it is testing, scanning, and acceptance testing is happening and it releases, right? So now when the code gets released, you might want it to directly deploy in dev sub account, right? Dev environment, right? But you also might want that to be transport automatically to prod test as well, correct? So you can set up your transport management service. Then what will happen? Your transport management service will pick up the code from here and will deploy in all three environments, dev, test, prod. So that's why we say transport management. So guys, Transport management service doesn't deploy. It just transport and then you have deployment service in each of those environment which will deploy the code, right? But it is helping the CI CD service. It is complementing the CI CD service, right? To, uh, you know, push the code in transport management and transport management will take it further in the DevOps life cycle, right? That's where I was saying, right? This is your, uh, you know, CI CD service. Definitely CI CD service can push the code in any of the environment, right? But if you want to have a transport manager service in middle, and then you can configure these different nodes in transport manager service, which anyway we'll see uh, in our cockpit. I will just show you in some time. So that's why we say it complements the CI CD service, right? Next, flexible handle imports. I also mentioned, right? It is not necessary that you always have to uh, you are getting because you might be uh, not having the complete automated uh, you know software development lifecycle configured in your landscape. Maybe you are not using CI CD service or you are not using any particular you know uh, version control system as a part of your DevOps. But you might be directly pushing the code here, right? Importing the code here, and you want it to be transported to other sub accounts or other environment, right? Or dev or test environment, you know? So it says that you can handle the imports, right? It is very flexible to handle the imports. So that's how you can go ahead and use this as well. Easily integratable with SAP Cloud ELM, SAP Solution Manager, BTP CI CD, BTP Git. Yeah, it's, it's, it's controllable, right? Your solution manager can control all the transport it can be integrated and your solution manager will actually trigger the transport request and which will be performed actually by transport manager service, but it definitely can be controlled by trans solution manager, right? Or cloud LM also you can integrate or BTP CI CD, you can integrate BTP Git, you can integrate. And then model complex transport landscape. You could be having hundreds of 
application getting developed and each of those application may have their prod test and uh, you know dev sub account that's where btp administration will come in a picture and they will design the complete landscape but your single transport management service can create hundreds of different nodes and can design the uh, you know transports flow right and that's why it says that you can com model the complex transport landscape right so this is all about these pointers right and uh, let's get into the cockpit and uh, understand uh, how actually it works on a high level let's say there is a one sub account is dev one sub account is prod one is test and i'm i'm developing an application so what will happen because i might be first deploying the application in development sub account and then i would like to deploy in the tests for testing functional testing and then finally everything went well then i can deploy the prod right so what i can do I can create nodes for each of this in transport management service. So let me go ahead and uh, you know show you this maybe in transport management service. So what I'll do is I'll quickly open the transport management service. Okay, so this is my cloud transport management service. Okay, so guys, see I have created a node for each of those sub account. Okay, there is a way to create it. Uh, I'm not going to cover that here. That is that will take a lot of time. So if you want to learn all those configuration in detail, you can go ahead and you know uh, enroll in our course or you can inquire about that so what happens uh, i can directly import code in this sub account and then i can raise a transport request which will copy in this sub account or i can integrate this with my ci cd service and whatever is coming from ci cd service right whatever is coming from ci cd service it will be copied it will be copied in all sub accounts where we want to right so that is also achievable right so that's how it looks like here a bit but yeah we need to do some other configurations to achieve all those uh, other settings there are a lot of things here we have if you want to learn this in detail reach out to us and this we cover as a part of devops training as well as btp admin training in administrator administration training btp admin training we just uh, help you to how to set up this but in devops training we actually teach you this in very detail using with integration with ci cd gate and complete automated um, software development life cycle uh, we create there using other services on btp which are related to devops and then we learn this in very detail okay so apart from these other courses we also offer a lot of other btp courses like btp administration btp uh, security in which uh, uh, platform security, application security, and uh, identity and access management, and BTP access governance for on-premise and cloud application using uh, IAG and BTP DevOps, and then BTP development with CAP, BTP development with RAP, BTP extension shoot. Okay, and uh, let's say you want to extend your on-premise software like S4 HANA, you want to do extension on that, you can develop on btp and uh, it will reflect in your s4 on premise right or also it can extend your cloud applications like let's say marketing cloud sales cloud commerce cloud there are other cloud applications whatever you have running you know uh, on btp or again then uh, integration shoot it again has seven different modules within it if you want to learn them like uh, iflows event mess api management integration advisor integration assessment and all those other tools integration you know Trading pattern management. So if you want to learn all those, you can reach out to us. And one more course is there we have is build process automation. You can develop a lot of a lot of automation with SAP systems, non-SAP systems, and just one brief maybe on this or one use case. Let's say you are a functional consultant, right? ERP functional consultant, maybe MMPP, QM, TM, right? So you can whatever steps what you do in GUI, you can record actually in build process automation and then if you need to do the same step again right you don't need to do it manually you just trigger this uh, process automation it will automatically do all those configurations for you right so you don't need to do the configuration again again that is one use case but there could be thousands of use cases where we can utilize build process automation or btb or uh, on premise landscape okay then again we have one more course is build apps here we learn how to uh, you know develop uh, applications full full stack application uh, mobile application using no code okay you don't need to write code but you using drag drop you can create actually full fast uh, full stack applications right and one more course we have is btp ai if you wanted to interested to learn btp ai services you can go ahead and learn 
again then B BTP IoT or SAP Analytics Cloud and Analytics Cloud Planning, Signavio or any other tool you want to learn, please reach out, show out to us and just I also would like to help you quick on, you know, uh, normally how I conduct how we conduct our sessions. So I will just take example of one of the courses like BTP administration, let's say, OK, so this is a real time, uh, you know, uh, uh, live sessions where we already have completed eight sessions and two more sessions are pending, right? So normally what will happen every day, you'll get recording of each session, then you get the PPT for that, you know, a proper PPT and then uh, you get assignment for that day. And again, lecture two, when gets over, you get lecture two and then assignment, lecture three, then lecture three PPT, then assignments for that day, lecture four, and then assignments for uh, fourth day and then PPT for the for this. Similarly, you have each day you'll get assignments, PPT and video, which you can refer at the end of the course. We run a mock test to test your knowledge. OK, I would request you all to go ahead and subs uh, subscribe our uh, YouTube channel. OK, and there are a lot of content available like this. Uh, we have already uploaded the videos for uh, BTP audit log management service, BTP alert notification service, transport management service, CI CD application logging service, BTP DevOps, BTP auto scaler service, BTP identity provisioning service, BTP identity authentication service, cloud identity services, and then BTP connectivity service. BTP destination service, BTP build work zone and many, many more, right? So you can go ahead and learn these uh, these services. It will definitely help you to understand the BTP better. And uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe our channel and click the black bell icon whenever we'll upload new services videos. You can get notification. You can go ahead and learn. So thank you so much. I hope you like the session uh, and please let me know in comments and refer other videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.